And joining us now is the head coach of the Houston Cougars, Coach James Dickey. James, good to see you again, buddy. Well, nice to see you, good? sir. Last year, 15 and 15, what did you learn from your team last year as you headed this year that what you want to improve on? Certainly it was disappointing. I expect mm -hmm. our team to be much better in terms of wins. Uh, I thought there were some good things that happened. Uh, uh, but the biggest problem w with our team, uh, Ron, uh, was that uh, we were inconsistent. And it mm -hmm. comes from lack of defense. I think defense is a great equalizer. And so really our theme has been since the end of last year is the uh, to work on our toughness, both mental and physical. You're tougher, you play better defense, right. you rebound, turnovers were a problem, you take better care of the ball. We weren't a good road team. And then when you combine all those things, uh, if you don't do them well, you're going to be inconsistent. When you do, you got a chance to be consistent every night, and that's what we've really worked on. Well, you and I were talking last night about the, the defense because you're, since I've known you, you've always been a defensive coach. And is the defensive mentality something you can teach a guy, or does he really have to have it inside of him first, and you've got to bring it out? I just think it's something that uh, becomes a habit. We've got to be demanding on it. It's got to be a habit. And then players got to believe in it because the offense is going to be inconsistent. Uh, there's going to be nights you're not going to be able to shoot the ball quite as well, but you can play defense every night. Mm -hmm. You can rebound. I can go back to three games at home where if we get one rebound in each of those three games, it, it, the game's over. Uh, we win the game. And so that, uh, that rebounding is a complement of your defense. We've got to do a better job there. Uh, you had our games last year. You saw that we, uh, we didn't value the basketball right. like we need to. So uh, culturally, uh, we've just got to be tougher. And uh, we're, we're, I like this team a lot, uh, but that's something we've really emphasized. Well, you, you talk about the bright spots. Obviously, sophomore Joseph Young had a, a good freshman year. I'm not going to say, you know, I mean, he still has to improve. Obviously, a lot to work on. And also, Tayshawn Thomas. Where do those guys go in their game? What's the next step? Because the, the big step is a lot of times between freshman and sophomore year. Ron, well, that's a great question. These two guys, both on the all-freshman team, I was mm -hmm. really pleased with what they did. We're looking at Joseph as a third-year guy, even though he redshirted right. his first year. Uh, Tayshawn, I thought, really did uh, a terrific job last year. We had to play him. Uh, too much in the paint, both mm -hmm. defensively uh, and offensively. And so now uh, with Leon Gibson, with J.J. Richardson, who redshirted, we hope to move him out more on the floor, more of a mid-range. He's still got to be around the basket some. Joseph, we want to free him up where he doesn't handle the ball uh, as much. Uh, with J.J. Thompson coming back, mm -hmm. our two junior college uh, uh, point guards, and Brandon Morris and Tion Womack, these are guys – that can really handle the ball, distribute, think pass first, and I think that's going to allow uh, Joseph to slide off the ball and really do a good job for us. Well, you mentioned Leon Gibson. He's the only senior returning to this team, but with only one senior, where does the leadership role fall? You know, in looking at our, our team, the three guys that we had uh, who were uh, redshirt last year because of injury, Mikhail McLean, uh, LaRon Barnes, Gerard Stiggers, those three guys we could have used last year. And so you take those three, the four new guys, plus the other redshirt, mm -hmm. J.J. Richard, we've got eight new guys. You right. talked about Leon, Tayshawn, uh, Joe, and little J.J. we got four guys that played. So we got eight new guys, but all of them are hungry. We're going to have a lot of competition. Uh, and I think that the leadership has to go on that senior that provide – uh, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Mikhail's a third-year guy. Joseph's the third-year guy. Our junior college player's coming in, and uh, we got to do it by committee, but our lone senior, Leon Gibson, he, he needs to be good for us in that paint, but also in the locker room as well. Well, because you have so many new guys and you only have one senior, what about the chemistry? Is this the kind of team that can blend? Do they have the personalities? that can mold into a team that can overcome adversity when it strikes. Well, one of the new rule changes, you know we were able to work with our guys in the summertime. Right. We had eight <clears throat> weeks. I thought that really helped us. We yeah. had our freshmen on campus. Uh, we had our new guys there, and uh, that that that's a big help. You get to work with your guys, for one thing, mm -hmm. and be around them on a daily basis uh, for at least two hours a week. And the other thing, it gives those incoming guys a chance to get adjusted, not only to school, but to your system. So I think that helps. And uh, chemistry always is something that's elusive. If you got it, it's hard to beat. If you don't have it, it's hard to get. But uh, I think our guys are hungry, and uh, they're, they're, they're really pulling for one another. And uh, we've had a lot of competitive drills. We've had a lot of toughness drills, and we hope that pays off for us. Well, what stands out, too, and I think people have to understand, the University of Houston has at a top 25 recruiting class, that has to be a big coup for you and the school also. Well, thank you. Uh, our guys, I was pleased uh, for a couple of reasons. One, obviously, they're a talented group. Uh, several of them were from the uh, city of Houston, mm -hmm. which we want to keep some guys home. But as much as that class has been heralded, I think it's as much important for those 
guys that are returning, the guys right. that were a good class the year before, our upperclassmen to step forward, the three guys that I mentioned that redshirted because of injuries, we need them to elevate their game. So if you combine the upperclassmen along with the young guys, you know, we have, uh, we have high expectations. Well, one of the things also stands out is the fact that Houston is going to have 18 home games this year. Do the players realize the importance of having those home games that you've got to protect high fives? That is an excellent point, something we talk about all the time, protecting your home court, playing well at home. And then it brings up another point, too. We've not been a good uh, road team, which we right. touched on earlier. And good teams, disciplined teams, teams with toughness, they execute and find a way to win on the road. But it starts by protecting your home court. So we need to do a good job at home. Then we've got to be much more tougher and physical and mentally tough on the road. Does that build the confidence then? So when they go on the road, I mean, it's, it, it's great protecting your home court, but you've got to have a confidence builder somewhere in your season. I think in order to get that confidence when you go on the road, uh, you've got to feel good about uh, how disciplined you are in your preparation. Mm -hmm. You've got to be willing to go in to someone else's facility in a, in a loud environment and be able to execute. And then, as you mentioned, you've got to go in there and play with confidence that you know if you do the things are necessary, you'll have a great chance to win on the road. You mentioned taking care of the ball. I think that's what stands out, the assist to turnover ratio. Um, it's, it's how do you teach that? I mean, how do you tell guys you've got to value every possession? And when you turn it over, it could be a four-point run, ten-point. Everything could mean something. I think players have to be accountable uh, in practice, and that's something that we've really worked on with our guys, uh, that they're accountable for mistakes, whether it be turning the basketball over, a defensive mistake, a missed block out, missed assignment. Uh, and uh, our guys have done a good job with that. And uh, to understand uh, it's got to hurt you uh, when you have a turnover. It's got to hurt you when your man scores. If you don't block out at the free throw line, uh, give a guy an extra possession. Those things are all key. And we're going to hold our guys uh, extremely accountable there. And uh, I think our guys are hungry. And I think that's something that will be another positive for our club. Final question, schedule. You like your schedule this year? Well, we put that schedule together. I think there's some challenges on there. Obviously, we've got an old Southwest Conference foe and A&M coming go. in. We've got TCU uh, on the road. We've got a uh, inner city rivalry there with uh, uh, Texas Southern. But what we did with our non-conference schedule, we want that to prepare us right. for the conference. Uh, everybody's looking for the conference race, have an opportunity to make a run at the uh, championship. And uh, we know there's some challenges there, uh, but we're, we're looking forward to uh, that schedule. And, and for us, where we're at, we've just got to make sure that we can't look ahead. we got to be ready for November 9th when it rolls around. Coach Dickey, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Best of luck to you this season. Thanks a lot.